here's a little time saver, a little, a little tip, a little trick to kind of not corner yourself um, with cross part association or, or um, in, in Venture's case, uh, adaptivity, but basically cross part association. So I've just got the default settings on right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new part. So we'll just call this part one, which is fine. And I'm gonna constrain it to the top here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna project some geometry. So I'm just gonna use the standard project um, geometry that's in the in the sketch tools. I guess we, we don't need vault right at the moment. But, so I've created my, my new part here and I'm gonna create a, a sketch on, on that same face. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna project some geometry. So I'm gonna start the, the project tool and I'm gonna project this edge and I'm going to project this edge and this edge and that edge. Now, just by doing that, so just by projecting that geometry onto my sketch, what I've done here is I've ended up creating four references. And in this case, it's actually references to three or four different parts um, because of that's how the cross part association works. Now, if this is your intention that you want to link like this, this is great, but I'm going to bet money that, you know, nine times out of 10 or eight times out of 10, this is not necessarily what you want. What you wanted to do is simply copy the geometry in. So you had some frame of reference, um, but you definitely didn't want that adaptive relationship. Now, one thing I can do here, I'm just going to undo this is I'm going to click project geometry. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to hold down, um, the control key. So you can see that by doing that, what it does is it projects the geometry. So I still get the same relationship. I mean, we can see that it's, it's locked, but I still get that same, um, the same geometry. It's just that we can see here that no adaptive relationship was built. So no cross part association happened. Now, if I wanted to, I mean, I could come to this geometry and I can use my, my right click, you know, delete constraints option to, to remove that and kind of free that up. Um, but you can see that how I can project it, but not build that adaptive relationship. Now it's pretty easy to get in the heat of the moment. You're in there, you're designing, everything is flowing and you just forget to hold the control key. So what I can do is if I go to the tools tab here and I go to my application options on the assembly tab here of the application options, notice I can actually disable that process. Basically I'm flipping the operation now. So now with that set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my project geometry and I'm not holding anything down now, right? I'm not holding any keys down and notice I'm able to project it without any cross part association. Now, if I hold down the control key, now it's going to go through and build that cross part um, association, that cross part representation there. So really my preference is always to flip that so that it's, it's a, a mental thought that yes, I do want adaptive. I do want to hold the control key and I do want to um, enable that relationship.